We're going to explain how to fix those flashing lights on your Astro A50 base station. It's frustrating, but usually fixable. 1. The most common reason for flashing lights is a connection problem. First, ensure the base station is properly plugged into a power outlet. Don't use a power strip or surge protector. Plug it directly into the wall. 2. Next, check the optical cable connecting the base station to your console. Make sure both ends are securely connected, firmly plugged in to both the base and your console. Try reseating the cable a few times. Sometimes a slightly loose connection can cause this problem. 3. If you're using a wireless connection, ensure your Astro A50 headset is properly docked on the base station. A weak or interrupted connection between the headset and base can also cause the lights to flash. Try removing and redocking the headset. 4. Check your console's settings. Make sure your console recognizes the Astro A50 headset. You may need to adjust audio settings or check for any device conflicts. The exact steps will vary depending on whether you have an Xbox or PlayStation, so consult your console's manual or the Astro website for specific instructions. 5. Firmware updates are crucial. Go to the Astro website and download the latest firmware for your base station and headset. Outdated firmware is a common culprit behind many connectivity issues. Carefully follow the instructions provided. 6. If the problem persists, it might be a hardware issue. Check the optical cable for any damage. Even a small bend or fray can disrupt the signal. Try a different known good cable if possible. 7. If none of these steps work, your base station might be faulty. Contact Astro Gaming Support directly. They have excellent customer service and may be able to help you troubleshoot further or arrange a repair or replacement under warranty. Remember to have your purchase receipt handy. 8. Before contacting support, try a factory reset of the base station. Consult your Astro A50 manual for the specific procedure. It usually involves holding down a button combination on the base station for a few seconds. This will reset the base station to its default settings, which can resolve many software-related problems. Be aware that this will erase any custom settings you've made. Remember to check all of the above steps systematically before jumping to conclusions about a hardware failure. Often, a simple connection or software fix resolves the flash.